If you're in San Diego, you probably got a good tan, but you know what? It's probably pretty hard to stretch your funds further in the real estate space, right? It's probably pretty hard to get started if you're not a multimillionaire. So how do regular, everyday people invest in real estate if they live in San Diego? They come here to this show like my man Juan did, and that's who I'm working for today, folks. A lot of you are probably like Juan. Juan, you're out there in San Diego. You want to invest out of state in the Cleveland market, and I'm helping you do that. And today we're going to go over a duplex that I think makes a lot of sense. But unlike a traditional turnkey provider, I'm going to make sure I work for you and not against you. Let's check out the deal. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am going to show y'all how to make the money in the Cleveland market. We're going to do it with this property. 4901 Burwald, Cleveland, 44144. It's been on the market a little over two months, 79 days, priced at 145K. I'm going to tell you right off the rip, I don't want you paying 145K. No. Mm -mm. Now, I'm not like a turnkey provider in the traditional sense that uh, I own a property, I tenant it, and then I sell it to you. Yes, I've done that. Uh, on one-off situations in my career, I'm a professional real estate investor and broker, folks. I sold $200 million worth of stuff. That's happened time, you know, multiple times throughout my career, but it's not my business model is what I'm trying to get to you, right? My business model is to work for you, work on your behalf, help you navigate the Cleveland market, help you navigate properties like this, listed by sellers, listed by agents. That way, I could team up with you and be like, yo, dog. It ain't worth 145. I'm here to help you get the deal, but get the deal at the right price. I want to get the deal for you at 130. I like it at 130. Why? Because the numbers make sense. Market rent, 900 a pop. 1800 uh, total rent, 21,500 is going to come in, or 21,600 rather is going to be scheduled to come in for the year, right? Now that's not the current rents, but this just shows my level of transparency, folks. Currently, both units, three one. One tenant's paying seven and a quarter. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, ah, of course he said market rents 900. They're only paying seven and a quarter. He's just inflating it. Eh, not the case, folks. I am as transparent as it gets. Want to know why? Because the other unit, they're currently paying nine and a quarter. But guess what I told you market rents are? 900. I think nine and a quarter stretching it, right? That's what you got to know if you're investing in real estate. You could get any one tenant to pay any one rent amount at least once, right? It's what is reasonable, what is uh, replicable, what is uh, probably going to work over the long haul. And I think nine and a quarter, I think you're going to be dealing with extreme vacancies and you're only going to be putting in tenants that are probably unqualified, okay? 900 is about the highest. Now, you run the numbers based on that long term, I'm looking at approximately 10 grand in average annualized net profit. And at the price I want you to pay, 130. It's 32 and a half. You bring to the table. Bank kicks in 97 and a half. That projects out to a 16% cash on cash return. Now, there's a little bit more, though, than just those numbers, folks. What you need to understand about the Cleveland market, where this property is, uh, this is the 44144 zip code. Super nice area. Probably one of the nicest parts of old Brooklyn, right? The zip code actually shares... Uh, shares, uh, like there's a bunch of properties in 44144 that are in Cleveland, but it's also a bunch of Brooklyn properties. That's a different suburb. I rate that as like a B neighborhood. Old Brooklyn, Cleveland, this part of Cleveland, it's like a C, but this is as close to B as you get, right? And this is super nice area. Like this street right here, Burwall, dude, I own like friggin' 15 duplexes on that street, man. And look right here, you got this school, big old football field right there. Like it's pretty nice. Like check out this field from the... Uh, they Google, right? That's a pretty nice looking field, yeah? Look at that. Look at that bad boy right there, you know? Looking good. Got the track action, but it's a pretty solid area. You're going to make some good coin. Now, uh, for more information on the varying 
neighborhood quality and grades and risk factors in Cleveland, check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I linked it below. It's also on the tools and resource tab. Now, what you got to focus on here is this building, right? See this garage? It's aluminum siding. The building is aluminum sided. Now, this has not been lead certified, okay? Has not been lead certified. That's important. You see this? See that? You're going to have to fix that, okay? The lead certification process is required by every landlord in the city of Cleveland. These laws are new. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just put out a video a couple months ago explaining how they work. You got to watch that if you want to invest in Cleveland. It's like a half hour long, but these laws are changing the game, okay? If you go and buy properties in Cleveland that are not lead certified and you didn't do the proper due diligence, you could end up with a $40,000 bill on your hands or else you'll never be able to evict your tenants or legally register your rental property. That's not good. And there's a lot of realtors out there that don't know about these laws because they're brand new. As a matter of fact, last time I checked, there's 80,000 rental units in the city of Cleveland. Only 7,000 have been lead certified. This seller did not get it lead certified. I don't believe they even understand it. That's okay. They don't have to. Uh, it's not a requirement to sell your property. But you, as the buyer, better do your due diligence to know what's going on, right? So the big thing is with these is you don't want to pay full freight for a property that's going to have a bunch of lead problems. This one's not the case. Windows, vinyl. Uh, siding, aluminum. The only thing I'm really looking at for my photos that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to replace some siding right here, replace some siding right there to encapsulate the old wood siding. Other than that, you should be okay. This should be pretty easy. Where people get into trouble... It's those investors out there that are buying properties with the old wood windows and old wood siding that hasn't been vinyl or aluminum sided, and they don't understand that they need to go through the process, right? Because that's how you get a $40,000 bill, right? To get your property, to get rid of your lead hazards, the two biggest issues is you got to side the property, number one. Number two, got to replace all the windows, dude. Like right now, 2022 prices, folks, you get, you're going to be looking at over 30 k just to do that, right? So that's like the bulk of the, the issues. But this property, it's got it taken care of. So uh, going through the uh, lead certification process on this one should not be an issue. But, uh, again, you still have to do it. So that's partially why I don't want you paying 145 I think 130 is a fair price, right? Both tenants look like they're chilling, staying for a while. One's actually paying above market rent for you. The other's at seven and a quarter. They're pretty close. And look, you got a pretty darn new looking furnace action down here. New hot water tank. Here's the other furnace looking pretty new. This thing is a solid deal, folks. I like this quite a bit. Uh, you got three beds and one bath in each of the units. So that is going to put you head and shoulders above the rest, right? Because most of the duplexes in this market are two ones. The fact that we're three ones is why we're always going to get that rental premium, right? Why we should be banging in that 900. So all told, this deal is a solid deal. This is why people invest out of state in the Cleveland market every day. My team handles all the on-the-ground work for you. Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, the whole friggin' nine. This deal is going to be a solid one. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.